How are we doing guys and girls? I hope you're good. Um, okay, I can't tell you where we are today because it's a workbench anywhere uh, episode today. So I'm kind of like, this is the Drumlin Diner and there's Starlight driving as you can see. So we're kind of just down the road from there really, but it doesn't really matter. It's only a small little building. I'm sure you can find this sort of thing anywhere on the map really. It's just a truck. So, um, so yeah, so continuing the popular sort of vehicle theme going on that everyone seems to be loving the trucks at the moment, you know, death trucks, war trucks, all, all this shit. Um, it kind of occurred to me that like, well, if we could get vehicles work in the Commonwealth, I probably wouldn't build a death truck out of it. I'd probably build like a mobile base, really. It's probably way more practical. So that's kind of like what this is. This is uh, still armoured, but not heavily armed. Uh, I, st you know, I still want it to be sort of tough and be able to survive a bit of an attack, but and also be able to like sort of push things out of the way as well because the roads here they're not great you know there's shit all over them as you can see um so yeah i want it to look like it could be able to move things out of the way but yeah it's not a war machine not a death truck uh, that being said uh it is pretty tough so we've got you know i'll show you what's what's in this we've got a rusted truck these are all out of uh, custom vanilla assets and uh, unlocked settlement mods by the way so yeah rusted car uh, what's that? Uh, a girder, um, paste machine, and a radiator, barrels. This is a big sort of, I don't even know, it's like an industrial pipe, maybe using the floor or something. And I had a, the back of it missing, so I just stick it on the front. Another sort of pipe. And it's all mirrored on the other side as well, there's two of each. So yeah, it's pretty uh, It's pretty well fortified at the front. Um, I kind of kind of wanted it to look sort of yeah sort of heavy duty ish uh, but keep the kind of shape of the truck so you know it doesn't look too ridiculous um oh and there's a there's a, um a vault window as well for the windscreen uh oh and uh i'm still i'm seeing things that i forgot was in there a vending a nuka vending machine just, i just like the grill on that so i just thought that would uh, go in there nicely and the headlights of course and then yeah that's it and then at the back still it's you know armored all the way through through the trailer part some piping um but yeah so yeah mobile home let me just uh i'll take you inside now the, the back part I kind of was, i was gonna get rid of this ramp actually this is this ramp was already on the truck when uh, when i got here and you can't really but you can't build that in the game and uh i thought well should i just have stairs going up but i really like that ramp i thought it looked cool so i decided to sort of make it look like it could be retracted up uh, and you know cover the door completely so it's you know very secure and um, when not in use so I just stuck these sort of cables on here and it looked like it could be pulled up although they weren't right they weren't the right angle to be fair I wanted it sort of further down but you know that's just the way it is I couldn't tilt those that nothing attaches to them so hey ho so yeah it's cramped in here <laughs> that's the first thing you're going to notice is it's very cramped if you ever try to build anything inside one of these trailers because uh, they're all standard size they're all the same size as each other uh, it's a bit of a bit of a bitch there they're not the easiest thing to build in. But I like the cramp look and I wanted it to kind of look, um, you know, really, really squeeze, everything squeezed in. But um, at the same time, you know, kind of divided up so that I've got a living room area, um, with TV. So you, you d that kind of actually makes it look bigger because the fact that you've got little sections sort of dedicated to each, each little part. Got a little um, weapons cupboard very small just to store some light guns and uh, I don't know homely stuff actually I'll, I'll just mention because I tend to I tend to brush over these things so that's like a that's a paint pot with um just a vase of flowers glitched into it just if you're wondering where that came from that's not actually an item and then um, that's just a normal vase with some some glow fungus um, put in there and yeah and then we've got a kitchen that's moderately sized really considering it's so uh, so small um everything you'd need from from the kitchen really we've got we've got plumbing we've got running water bits and bobs food um you know cleaning products etc storage got a little dining area with good old uh what's his name Jang jangles django Django and Chain, that's not him. He's my little eating buddy. I was going to just put a normal table in, but I thought that uh, 
that added to the compact feel, you know, having the, the diner chairs. And we've got a fridge, necessary alcohol supplies. So yeah, so I hung these uh, these pots up on the ceiling as well. I thought, uh, you know, like you'd use every bit of space, wouldn't you? Really, if you had a little cramped up. If you've ever been in a caravan, if you've ever been camping, you know that like everywhere's everywhere's used. Every, you know, it's all been planned out properly. So they're just uh, the you know the the weapon the meat hook things uh, i just sort of glitched them into the ceiling and then hook the uh the pots onto it and then uh, i've got a little bedroom through here this is super super cramped up but again like by having a divide in the in the actual trail it makes it look bigger than it is you know because you split the area up um so let me just turn the light on in here so we have got a uh, i'll start outside so you can see a bit better Workbench, as you can see, computer, I've got a bed up there. Um, so we've got wardrobe, some clothing, hanging rail. Everything really is um, sort of as compact as I could get it in. I stuck the bed up above the desk. Um, but yeah, I think it kind of like helps make it look just more more lived in really. I like the cozy build as you've probably if you've seen any, any of my other videos you probably know that you know the cozy look is <laughs> it's kinda of like my forte. Um just getting everything cramped in and working these little, little tight spaces I find that quite challenging. So um but yeah I think uh, the whole thing really I mean as I say it's just a small build. It didn't take that long to do um but it's quite effective. And this is probably more realistic than anything, you know, you would definitely have a mobile mobile home. If you could get a vehicle working to be a desk truck, you know, why wouldn't you want to live in it really? It makes way more sense than having just a base where you just sort of stuck on it. Um, but yeah, so that's it for a short video. I haven't actually had a chance to play much Fallout recently. That's probably why um, I just haven't had a chance to do anything big, but I, th I had this sort of building in my head all week really I was kind of building it already in my mind and then uh, I just sort of so I knew exactly what I was going to do and I just threw it together the longest thing was start trying to find a, a spot for it really because um, I've only just downloaded the um, the workbench uh, I think it's just called workbench anywhere mod um, I've never used it before uh, so I just quickly got it and then I thought well I'm gonna have a little try with it this week and just hadn't got around to do anything until until yesterday um, but yeah, I'm quite happy with that and I'll probably do some more of these uh, when I find some different locations and find some good little spots and uh, hopefully I can share them with you and, and see what you think. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys and uh, as usual, subscribe and blah 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 if you like it. Um, if not, well don't, <laughs> but yeah, but thank I appreciate all your comments and things So uh, and thanks for watching. See you later guys, bye bye.